As Catilius readies himself to be the next Roman emperor, Canidia has shipwrecked the warriors on a distant beach. On it, Ali finds the entrance to the kingdom of the dead, and with Marcus goes in search of his mother. Over here! Do you still think we should go through with this? It's just getting darker and creepier. Well, the dead aren't going to come to us, so keep walking. Yes, they will. In fact, they are! <laughs> I know this sounds strange, but I don't think we're alone. I think we're being watched. There's nobody here, not even the dead. That girl lied to us. Maybe not. Look over there, a light. Of course, that light must be the souls of the dead. Let's go. I still think I'm right about someone watching us. Hey, wait for me, Ali. <laughs> There's Ali and Marcus. Huh? Then they're in danger. Go, Mombi. I can't see very well, but it seems immense. I really don't think we should be down here. Then leave, but I still need to know if my mother is in this kingdom of the dead. Very good, Mombi. But I still don't understand what they went down there for. There are some places that mortal men should never go. Never. No! That was no! them! No! No! They are hungry. I hope that you have brought some offerings. That is the only way you can appease the hunger of these demons. It's really very simple. When you descend into the darkness, you must bring some food and wine to offer to the gods, and then you cross the threshold. These demons won't stop! They're eating us alive! We have to escape! No one ever escapes. The dead are always hungry. Who are you? My name does not matter. I am here to help you find the people that you seek. Do you know where they are? All who died a violent death are found over the River of Tears. Over the river? No, Ali. We have to be out of here before dawn or all is lost. I can bring you to them if you wish. <gasps> Your loved ones are just over these waters. Climb on. Do not touch the water. 
nor anything else except the tears of the dead, or you will experience their eternal torments. Princess! <gasps> Antonius! Oh, finally, a friendly face. Our enemies don't quite know all the secret chambers of this palace. We have to do something. My father is getting sicker, and I am being kept a prisoner here by Canidia. I know, and in our absence, the situation here has become far worse. Your father has surrendered to Canidia. The Senate should have already put a stop to the horror of that woman. The Senate has no power over the decree of the Emperor. We must assemble a meeting of the faithful. I know that if we could reconvene the Senate... We would only provoke a civil war. Your only hope now is the Warriors of the Sun. They only have five days left. After that, all is lost. <laughs> Yes, that's Ali's satchel. I can't think straight, Mombi. This fog is affecting my mind. I just want to sleep. Who are you? Don't worry. I have no desire to harm you. I do not recognize you as one of the lost souls that dwells in this land. What brought you to this place? My companions and I were shipwrecked after a terrible storm, but I'm so tired. I almost can't remember who I am, or even where I was going. Nothing here makes any sense. It is the risk of all who travel here, because they lose their way so easily. Countless tears of torment and anguish flow in this river. The eternal sorrow of the unloved dead. We have arrived. Here rest those unfortunates that were murdered. Be wary of the souls of the executed. They were criminals in life and remain so in death. But how do we find the people that we're looking for? Do not worry. They will be looking for you. But if the sun should rise and you have not yet returned to the world of the living, then you will remain here forever. See? What did I tell you? But how will they know where to find us? We should turn back now. Huh? Do you think that could be your mother? No! <gasps> Stop there! These boys are not here to listen to your pathetic complaining. Go, you accursed wretches! Who are you? I am just one of the dead, the murdered. <gasps> you of all people shouldn't fear me. I guess you wouldn't recognize me. I was already dead before you even came into the world. My name is Prospero, and I am the man you would call your father. Huh? Papa! <gasps> But you... I'm afraid we're only phantoms here, Marcus. Oh. I was not able to embrace you when you were alive, my son, and so I am unable to do so now that I am dead. You can't imagine how long I've waited for this moment! I have so many things that I've wanted to ask you, Papa. Sadly, I cannot answer your questions, my child. If I spoke to you about the past, or if I foretold the future, all the demons of Hades would rise. And for you, it would be the end. But then I'll never- Please don't worry. There are still so many things I've wanted to tell you. I know all about you and your courageous young friend. Here, even from this place of torment, we can observe your actions. Your mother doesn't deserve your anger. But, Papa... I never had a greater love than to meet you in my life, 
and she in turn loved me with all of her heart. You are the proof of that. But I am no longer alive, and it is time that your mother's heart be able to love again. So tired. So numb. It's difficult even to think straight. It took this lioness to wake me up, with all her strength. That's what brought me here. And that's all that I can remember right now. But how come you want to know these things? Like you, I was once a commander, but also a wanderer. My companions and I undertook a long voyage. It was our wish to cross every sea, even to the edge of the world and beyond. My eyes saw things that no mortal man had ever seen. But my thirst for knowledge was as endless as the oceans that I crossed. I saw monstrous creatures, but I continued sailing on the seas for ten years, away from my house and from my loved ones. Pushing me over the limits of human knowledge, I visited unknown lands, but I began to grow weary of the constant travel. I began to feel a great void in my soul, the curse of being forced to travel without ever coming to port or to a home. But for you, it's different. You can fight. What are you saying? I don't understand. Look into your heart, and struggle against the confusion in this fog that clouds your passions. There is nothing of passion to be found in my heart. You must close your eyes and look inside yourself. <sighs> Rome! I must get to Rome. I must win the tournament so I can marry Princess Domitia. It's a miracle! How did you manage to break the curse? I don't understand! I have not done anything. It was your own heart that performed the miracle. But you have no time to lose. The sun is about to rise. You must get out of here now. You and your friends risk becoming imprisoned in this land forever if you don't do so. There's nothing else that I can tell you. Now go, and save your friends, and when you take out your ship, make sure to head towards the east. Trust in the Greek winds. They are the only winds that won't betray you. The Grikali. The Grikali? Wait! Without you, my companions and I would be dead! At least let me know your name! My name is Ulysses. You have learned to fight with courage, but you still have a long journey ahead of you. The Empire needs you. There is nobody that can take your place. I must have been wrong. There's nobody here for me? There's always me. Huh. I've been looking for you for a long time, Ali. But how do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I know that you were born in Antioch, and that you lived with your parents in a very beautiful house on the edge of the desert. A place of peace, and a place enjoyed by all who wish to enjoy a serene life, away from the oppression of Rome. Your mother was a very beautiful woman with a fair and noble mind and your father was madly in love with her. They were young and happy. They wanted to make the world a better place for their child to live in, but some wicked men destroyed their dreams. One night, their home was invaded, your mother was captured, and you were hidden in a cavern for your safety. As for me, I was the victim of murder. But then, that means you are- Yes, I am your father, Ali. <gasps> Ever since that fateful night, I begged the gods to let me see you again. Who did this to you? Who? Ali, it no! Was... <laughs> Who did this to you? <gasps> Who? Leave, Marcus. You must run away right now. What have I done? <sighs> Papa! Papa! What's wrong? We were innocent victims, Ali. Never forget that. <sighs> What's happening now? You asked a forbidden question. You're not allowed to ask such oh. questions of the dead. It's true. You have broken the law of Hades, and now you will pay with your lives. Uh. Ali! Marcus! Your two young friends are across the river. I ferried them there myself to the land of murdered souls. They are thirsty for vengeance of their horrible deaths. It is pointless to wait for them. The waters of the river will prevent them from returning. They will never escape in time. Not if I can help it. The sun is almost risen. If you try to look for them, then you also risk being trapped in the kingdom of the dead for all eternity. 
Then let's hurry. As look at them, you will regret it. We shall see about that. <laughs> they are nothing compared to me. Now run. Hurry, let's get no. out of here. There's no time to lose. Oh. Hurry, Mombi. Stand your ground. Why did you let them go? They serve me better alive. <laughs> After we have crossed the river, you must hurry. The sun is about to rise, and by then it will be too late. Even if we succeed in getting out of here, how will we get back to Rome? There's only three of us. We can't sail without a crew. If you bathe the eyelids of your friends with the water of this river, the tears of the dead will help them recall the sufferings and pleasures of their lives, and they will awaken. You've been helping us from the beginning. Why is that? It has been written that all these events had to happen. The fates have decreed that I help you. Ali, what are you doing? We have to hurry! I know exactly what you are thinking. Your questions are still without answer, am I right? Yes, it's true. I've put my friends and family in danger for nothing. Then allow me to give you an answer to your question. Your mother is alive, and her name is Niobe. Alive? But where is she? She is in Rome, imprisoned by the same man who murdered your father. My father's assassin? Tell me his name! Hurry, Ali! We have to go! <gasps> who is it that killed my father? Tell me his name! His name is Emperor Hadrian. Huh? <gasps> What are you waiting for? Ali, let's go!
You saved my life back there. Hey, I promised I would get you to Rome safe and sound, and that's what I'm gonna do. I think I've been all wrong about you. If my mother is in love with you, then I am happy for you. Right now, let's just concentrate on getting you home. <laughs> He's not waking up. Leave me alone. Oh, let me do it. He just needs let my brand of persuasion. Oh. Oh. Wake up! You've oh. already missed your oh. breakfast. I already missed breakfast? No! Yeah, and I'll have your bacon if you don't get busy. True. These are the only winds that won't betray you. What an unbelievable story. Looks like we missed all the interesting parts, too. I still don't understand what happened. Why did we sleep all day? I don't get it. You mean, why did everyone else sleep all day? You sleep the day away all the time. How dare you? I wake up with the best. Well, I must say, it looks like you two are back to normal. You had all lost the most important huh? thing that resides in the hearts of all men, the desire to live. You look like your old self again. Now that we are all healthy again, let's set sail, because Rome awaits us. Rome, <laughs> tournament, <laughs> and most of all, Catilius. <laughs> yes, Rome awaits us. There is no escaping your destiny now. Go to Rome, chosen one. You are my most powerful weapon. <laughs> 